So Andela's what we call our sort of purpose is to uh, unlock human potential at scale. And what that truly means in, in terms of impact is uh, we're focusing on how to solve some of the world's biggest problems. And the way we do that is by getting folks that can power some of the best technology teams, essentially finding them people to help build the things they want to build. And then while we're doing that, we're also investing in tech talent in Africa on the continent and building tech communities. And so we're pairing two very um, sort of interesting groups that usually don't meet. I think the general idea is that our, our partners, we, we call our customers partners because we actually think that it's a partnership. They go from sort of, I'd say, early to mid-stage startups all the way to much larger companies. And I think the idea for us is we're not necessarily picky in terms of how we think through who will be a good partner, but we're very, very picky in terms of the engineering teams that we place our developers in, the specific outcomes we want. We want them to go to places where they are respected as team members that are bringing value. The way we think about Andela is the average person that comes in is someone that is either just you know, recently graduated from university or has actually gone to work elsewhere. So we take people that have worked at banks, you know, telcos, uh, we've had a few people that are in, in the media that decided that they were not interested in doing this anymore and <laughs> they went to write software instead. Um, and, they, and they apply to our, pro, uh, you know, our program and they, they get in through a very rigorous vetting process. These are like full-time professionals who would be, you know, if they were not working with us, they'd be working at other companies. And it's people that uh, have just understood that there is a new emergence of tech and that that is going to have massive impact and that they're going to be part of that ecosystem. And then we expect them to be with us for about four years in total so that we can, during those four years, see them go through the work experiences that allow us to think that they are world-class technology leaders who can go on beyond that to lead teams, build things, uh, and contribute in a way that's very meaningful. Uh, if you look at the, the rest of the world, there's so many economies where Technology is one of the fastest growing sectors and tech has found its way into every sector. You know, it's in agriculture, it's in industry, it's in manufacturing, textile, whatever it is. Uh, in, in Nigeria and across Africa, I think we're still at the very early stages of the application of tech to you know, what they call the real sectors. And I think the reason for that is just talent. Ultimately, what we do is we import a lot of tech. So I think what is happening now is as we are, as companies like ours are beginning to invest heavily in human capital, I think over time what you'll then see is, you know, someone comes to Andela, you know, works for four years, uh, decides at the end of that that they want to go do something else, and they decide to become entrepreneurs, and they'll look around them and see problems, and those will be the first things they'll go address. And so what we, what we expect to see uh, this year is exciting. It's the first year we have people that are sort of finishing up the, f the four years. And so we have professionals that have worked with us four years and now uh, have the option to go and do other things. And I'm just so excited to see like what they'll go do.